Uh, thank you, Delia School, for the overview on Canadian education, and Mr. Morrison for your kind introduction of ARCH. Uh, it's a pleasure for ARCH Education to support Delia School's counseling team this year. Uh, today, we'll be providing a brief overview of our support for Delia students and parents this year through our joint consultation program. Um, next slide, please. I'm Roger Din, I will be representing Arches US team, and my colleague, Ms. Ruby Fu, will do the same for um, Arches UK team. Just to provide you with an overview of today's agenda, we will start by briefly introducing, introducing Arch education and our track record. For those of you who are less familiar with Arch, uh, we will then move on to an overview of Arch and Gilead School and missions counseling process for this academic year, followed by an introduction of UK universities and then US universities. At the conclusion of our session, we will have a short Q&A and the audience will have a chance to ask any questions at that time. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, okay, next slide. Arch was founded over 10 years ago by Jennifer Ma and Jennifer Yu, both Oxbridge and Ivy League graduates respectively. Over the years, we have grown into a global team and have over 150 instructors now, tutors and admissions consultants and other colleagues. We work with students at nearly every stage of their academic life. Our students start as early as seven years old, all the way to postgraduate education. Our expertise is mostly in UK and US admissions. So that's what we'll be supporting Delia School this year. Next slide, please. Just to provide you a little bit more um, uh, overview on that, this slide provides a, um, details on Arches pathway, comprising three major offerings, skills enrichment, academic preparations, and admissions counseling. Many of our students start working with us from a very young age in our skills enrichment program. This may include public speaking, reading, writing, and critical thinking courses. From there, some of our students may seek academic tutoring support to strengthen their grades and academic preparation. Our teachers' expertise cover a broad range of academic subjects and curriculum. Uh, traveling along this journey, many Arch families will explore and apply to UK or US boarding schools and universities. And our admission counseling team support their application preparation and process. So we're happy to share our expertise this year with, uh, with the daily school community. Um, next slide, please. So this is just an outline of some of our support services uh, that we'll be sharing with Adelia School this year. It includes ongoing guidance, academic planning for both US and UK. Uh, this may include subject exploration, something that Ruby may touch on later. Additionally, it's about extracurricular activity guidance, or ECA for short, test preparation for external and as standardized exams, school selection, essay guidance, at this part, I would like to pass over to my colleague, uh, Ms. Ruby. Thank you. Thank you, Roger. So my name is Ruby. I'm the um, um, UK representative from the ARCH team. So this list shows you, sorry, next slide, please. Yep, this list, list shows you our extensive experience placing students into top 10 universities and medical schools in the UK, which covers 2 to 5% of success rate for international students. Per the latest tally, we've placed 180 into Oxford and Cambridge, more than 500 London University colleges, and over 600 medicine and law authors. So next slide, please. We're also proud to announce our students' U.S. admissions result from recent, uh, from the recent two, 2019 to 2020 cycle. Collectively, our students received over 220 offers from top U.S. universities, with over 42 accepted into Ivy League and top 15 schools. Additionally, 90% 90 90 were admitted into top 50 schools. Arch does not pre pre-select our students, so we are very proud of their achievements in this past year. Next slide, please. Over the years, our students have been accepted by many great universities, as you can see on this slide, including Ivy League universities such as Princeton, Harvard, Yale, and other elite colleges such as Stanford, MIT, and U Chicago. This slide shows our partial results for the past five years. Next, please. Yep, yeah, and would like to. Uh, we would like to share with you. So, um, the uh, the plans that uh, Arch and DSC have so for this upcoming academic cycle. Next, please. 
So this is an uh, an outline of the um, of the events, talks, and workshops. So that we are going to collaborate with DSE. So that would include, of course, so today's orientation um, day, and also we will be hosting um, talks about um, university pathways to UK, Hong Kong, and um, US universities, and also um, application workshops, university essay workshops, interview workshops, reference letter workshops workshops and careers talk, CV workshop and also subject exploration so for the younger students. Next please. Yep, then I will move on so to the uh, highlights of US uh, UK universities admission. Next please. University ranking can vary if we look at different league tables as they may use different criteria and different universities may have different specialization of subjects. But as a general reference, the Russell group of schools is comprised of the top 24 UK universities. This includes the Oxford, Cambridge, uh, this includes Oxford and Cambridge, which are the most well known for its long standing traditions of academic and research excellence. The London colleges such as LSE, UCL, Imperial being the most recognized few and the other major city universities such as Durham and Bath. Next please. Yep. So Hong, UK's tertiary education focuses on professional streams such as medicine, law, engineering, or specialization into any subject of interest. First major consideration is grades. Different subjects have different requirement grades. I would like to spend a little bit of time explaining this um, point as it's very important for the understanding of the analysis laser. There are two sets of grades worth noting. First set is the prediction grade, which is the school we provide the student based on their performance in the penultimate year of secondary school and just before they apply to university, the year before the actual entry. Students would put this prediction grade for universities to evaluate candidacy before deciding on a conditional offer extension. The second set is the actual grades obtained in the diploma, so which will de which will fulfill the conditions in the offer. So, for example, so if there's a student aiming for September 2021 entry, then they should receive their prediction grade by autumn of 2020. Uh, sorry, aiming for a September 2021 entry, then they should receive their prediction grade in autumn of 2020. And the actual um, grade would be uh, released in the summer of 2021. So not all students will meet the conditions, hence most universities will overextend offers beyond the available places by roughly 10 to 30 percent. The more competitive and high ranking universities would overextend less than the low ranking universities as the likelihood of students missing offers or not taking up the offers tend to be lower. Beyond grades at school, public exam, UK universities also take into account of other aspects, including additional aptitude test scores for some competitive universities and subjects, extracurricular activities that shows the student's interest in the area of studies, reference letter from school teacher, personal statement, which is important as it's an opportunity for students to elaborate on their academic interest, and interview which are conducted by professors in the field of study. The start ones, namely grades and test scores, are the minimum requirements, but the other aspects are also important to show the student's genuine passion in the subject of interest. Next, please. So because of this focus in subject specialization, there are a few unique considerations to UK applications. For UK, students will submit one application for universities, which means that one can only choose one specific subject choice. So for example, one cannot apply to medicine and law and engineering at the same time, because it's very hard to expect, express genuine interest in three subjects in one single personal statement. And the university 
choice is limited to five only, which means if a student's prediction grades do not meet the minimum requirement, then students normally would not apply to that university. Hence, maybe about 95% of the applicants would already have the prediction grades that meet the requirement. Once a student is admitted to a university, he or she cannot and also not encouraged to change the major and also cannot switch university unless they restart from year one, which means student needs to be sure of their choice before applying to university. At Oxbridge, they are famous for their tutorial teaching. So on top of the mass lecture, students will also have one on two to three classes every week so they can learn closely with the professor. And students must enjoy the subject, otherwise the experience would be quite tough and also not enjoyable. Most offers from UK universities are conditional, so there's also a risk that the student may not fulfill the prediction grade in a final exam and in turn missing the offer. Next, please. So at the end of the day for universities, the main concern is whether the student can perform well in the degree subject, whether the student has the skills that are generally interested in and are in generally interested in the subject of choice. For students, they think they should think about beyond prediction grade. So which 95% of them would have would only 5 to 15 percent would be successful for these top universities. So how to prepare oneself to be competitive? Next, please. So I think the first step is to choose the uh, subject choice that is suitable for the student. So since the choice is so important for UK admissions, let's take a look at what subjects are available. There are four major categories, pure sciences, such as pure biology and chemistry, applied sciences that require science knowledge but only focus on the application side of it such as medicine and engineering humanities such as languages and history and also social sciences such as economics and law there are also separate colleges that offer vocational programs such as performance performance art um, design etc However, the world has changed, which means beyond these traditional subjects, there are now up to 380 subject choices at university. Whilst secondary school students we only have the exposure to typically three to 10 subjects at school. So how they align themselves to choosing the right subject at university matters. And that was the one of the um, um, events that we will have would also be subject exploration that we are going to collaborate with uh, DSC. I think that's my sharing. So for the UK side, so then I will pass back to my colleague Roger. Uh, thank you, Ruby, for the overview on UK applications. Uh, in this section, we will now discuss about US universities, including admissions, preparation timelines, and the application materials that will be involved. Um, next, please. In the US, undergraduate education uh, is four years. During the first two years, students undertake a liberal arts curriculum comprising courses from a, variety, from a variety of fields. This is different to UK in which the education is uh, traditionally three years. In their second year, students must then declare a major, which is equivalent to the subject area in UK. Compared to UK universities, U.S. schools are much more flexible, and students may be able to transfer to different universities all of their first year and transfer to different majors as late as uh, their third year of uh, university education. Unlike UK education, students who wish to pursue professional degrees such as medicine or law will need to pursue graduate school, as those programs are only offered at the postgraduate level. However, some undergraduate programs are available, including um, most famous probably Wharton from the University of Pennsylvania, MIT, UC Berkeley, University of Michigan, and a few others. However, uh, please note that undergraduate business is a fairly uncommon uh, major and is considered highly competitive. So most students uh, will uh, will be pursuing these from, um, so it's very, so you must be careful when you're aiming for, for undergraduate business program. Next slide, please. For those who are less familiar with uh, U.S. university application process, we hope to provide some background. 
there are, are traditionally five core components um, of U.S. application. Firstly, it would be grades, or those would be the academic results of students' um, performance in school during their four years of high school. Secondly, it would be their test scores. Third, it would be extracurricular activities, or ECA for short. Uh, fourth, it would be teacher recommendations. And lastly, application essays. Uh, interviews, as you can see here, is a, is a circle in gray, uh, are sometimes offered by uh, some fairly competitive um, universities. Uh, and mostly conducted with the alumni members. Not all universities will require interviews, though. Next slide, please. Um, U.S. universities look at students' profile and academic results starting from grade 9 to grade 12. On the left column, you can see grades and their equivalents in the U.K. and Hong Kong education systems. Regarding test scores, students should definitely take the SAT or ACT. We recommend students to take SAT two subject tests, but increasingly many top 50 universities are making subject tests optional. Under the ECA column, a student should strive to achieve breadth and activities that may include leadership, sports, clubs, arts, uh, or community service. In all of these, students should also show initiative and character growth. Or letters of recs or recommendations, uh, usually two teachers' recommendations are required, along with another recommendation from a school counselor. Lastly, student application essays help to bring it all together, which includes one personal statement to be submitted to all schools. Supplement essays are also sometimes required, especially for more competitive universities. Next slide, please. This slide outlines the U.S. undergraduate application timeline for students from grade 9 to grade 12, the academic years in which U.S. universities will assess their performance in. This covers three major areas, including academics, ECA, and uh, profile, and lastly, their test prep. Unlike U.K. schools, which will typically review IB predicted grades only from grade 11, um, U U.S. schools will review each student's cumulative GPA which is equivalent to an average of the student's academic results over four years of high school. So starting in grade nine, students should start focusing on their academics and seek help immediately if they feel like they are falling behind. Additionally, grade nine students should begin exploring a range of activities and interests. In grade 10, students should narrow down to two to three interests and take action on those, pursuing leadership roles in clubs or initiating a research project of some kind. Additionally, grade 10 students should begin preparing for either the SAT or ACT test. Grade 11 is the most important year for students. Admissions will be closely reviewing grades to see if students are mature and are well prepared for university. The first term of grade 12 will be focused on applications or some of the early deadline starting on November 1st. So that's what, we, uh, so that's what ARCH and, and DSE counseling team will be focusing on uh, a lot during the next couple months. Next slide, please. The U.S. application process will require working with two major application portals, the Common Application, Common App for short, and the University of California uh, system, or the UC app. Common App can be submitted to 750, 750 colleges and universities. Common App requires one personal statement in which uh, students are required to address one of seven prompts. Many schools will also require supplement essays to further test students' interest in their schools and their uh, proposed field of study. Um, this is a little bit different to the UC app, which can be submitted to only eight UCs within the system. And this includes, of course, UC Berkeley, UCLA, UC Davis, and others. Students are required to address four of eight essay prompts. Each one is around 350 words. Topics range from anything from academic interest or community service experiences to personal obstacles that they have um, overcome. In summary, uh, students applying to U.S. will need to write a lot of essays. Uh, if they are applying to 10 schools, they may need to write up to 40 essays, for example. By identifying the right fit schools earlier on and mapping each school's required essay, um, we can help students find which school's essays may overlap, strategically set timelines to reduce work, so that students uh, end up writing perhaps half of those. So this includes a summary of the application process for the U.S. So at this point, uh, Ruby and I would like to open up for any Q&A from the audience. Yeah, thank you.